now disqualify APC from Bayelsa's governorship election. And Senate now wants that to be where we say one bring out Southwest Development Commission. House of Rep don't approve the operation positive identification with Nigerian Army One do. And Nigerian Customs Service now don't see smuggled goods we reach over 40 million naira. Una good evening and welcome on top as it take happen for Wazobia Max TV. My name na Adati Onkwe. For inside the first story where we carry come for today, we have a federal high court where we sit down for inside Yenegua on Thursday. It don't disqualify APC, that's one Nasi they no go follow for the Bayelsa state governorship election on Saturday. The court rule say APC no get candidate for the election. And as they deliver the judgment, Justice Jane E. Yang Yan say APC do their primaries anyhow outside the rules of the party. She seek on Yan say since they do the primaries without the normal process, say make none of the aspirants now come out as a candidate of the party. She can't give INEC orders. She make them come out uh, Leon as an APC candidate for the governorship election we go hold on Saturday. And as the matter be, uh, we be say Senator Henneken Lopobiri carry come. They challenge all the one where BC had to take do the governorship primaries of APC on September 4th. As the matter still be, the top top person of INEC will be first also Koye. He can and say the commission now no fit to remove APC from the ballot paper where BC they do already print. But any vote where anybody go put for APC, say that vote, he go waste. We shall probably come up from inside that to re-enter the next one. Deputy Inspector General of Police and Operation will be Abdul Majid Ali. He don't come out now, can't drop people. Yes, say anybody where be say they plan to carry ballot boss to run for this Saturday election inside Kogi and Bayelsa. Say make the person really think and well because the police no go pity them at all. As the matter be, as the year and give to we people on Thursday before the Saturday election for inside Kogi and Bayelsa State. Ali where be say now him they in charge of Kogi election. He come here and say the Inspector General of Police now don't send plenty security people make them police the state well well and for inside this election and he come here and say police now don't put eye well for anything where BC go cause fit cause bege for Kogi and Bayelsa state and say they don't see where BC some kind of bege fit they don't still locate the place where trouble so fit general, anyway, the general police and other security agencies are fully ready to support INEC in delivering successful elections in Kogi and Bayelsa state while with your support and that of the citizens, we are confident that we have all the operational capability and capacity to ensure the success of the exercise in our state. We are not unaware of the possible security threat that some misguided political actors and their followers may attempt to pose during the elections in the state. To such elements, we must sound a note of warning. As a nation, we have had enough of electoral violence. Hence, while the general police shall strive to guarantee a peaceful and secure space for all political parties and citizens to freely exercise their electoral rights, we shall not hesitate to identify, isolate, bring to deserve justice any person or group of person that attempt to threaten the democratic order in Kogi and Vice State. Our message is being relayed here, now and clear, that in securing the law abiding citizens during the election, we shall not hesitate to deploy our potent asset to deal firmly and decisively with any electoral debate. And still on top of the matter, the DIG don't talk. See, they don't put mind well to create better environment where be say peace go day for people to freely vote. And now that one go carry us come up from inside that to re-enter another one. This one are for inside the Senate. 24 hours after they reintroduced the Southeast Development Commission bill, the Senate now don't also start the bill where be say one bring out the Southwest Development Commission. Now, the senator where we say they represent Ogun Central, where be Ibunku Le and Mosu. Now, he introduced the bill on Thursday as in the work. Senator Mosu talks say the bill now go address development Wahala for the state where we say make up southwest geopolitical zone. 
Nearly every part of Nigeria, of course, should feel concerned, should feel about the need to develop uh, their place. And if all of us develop our place, of course, we have a beautiful country that everybody will be proud of. So to that extent, yes, this is not just my bill. It's going to be all of us uh, from the Southwest. Uh, it is being co-sponsored by all of us in the Southwest. Uh, for if you look at even the demography of Nigeria, if you look at the population of Nigeria, you know, just look at uh, how many are we from Southwest. And if you look at, uh, I'm saying this with all sense of uh, responsibility, there is no part, no part of Nigeria that is not important. All of us are. Everybody have something that they are bringing on the table. And see for inside the matter, we hear to the Niger Delta Development Commission, that's now NDDC, and the Northeast Development Commission will be NEDC, now in President Bigree on top for inside October 2017. We come out for insider to re-enter the next one. Senate President Ahmed Lawan don't swear in a senator Biodun Olujimi enter office as senator where they represent Ekiti South Senatorial District. Senator Olujimi swearing in now the follow for the Ekiti State Election Petition Tribunal and the ruling of the Court of Appeal where BC cancel the election of Ade Dayo Adeyeye. This one now come make the number of women senators for inside the Red Chamber to increase to eight women. And for inside the next two we still for inside National Assembly, the House of Rep now don't come approve the Operation Positive Identification where B say the Nigerian Army won't do. And they answer this one a part of the same stock where B say part of the House Committee on Top Army, where Abdul Razak Namdas be the leader carry come. Where B say them be sent to touch light the OPI, then tell the chamber the kind of action where B say they need them to take. As they yarn about the report on Thursday, the House yarn say make the army continue with the operation positive identification, but say make them do collab now with other security joint body them like Nigerian Immigration Service and Nigeria Police Force where BC and them will lead for inside this process. They say yarn say make the agencies then set up joint intelligence and uh, monitoring team so that they will fit checkmate abuse like extortion, including assault on top people. The House the and say make the army, they always brief the committee on top army for better assessment of this exercise. What did they do? We shall probably run come out from inside that to re-enter the next one. Due to say crime, they always increase for inside the country. Nigerians now don't come out, come they call on security agencies them. They may then take intelligence gathering as a serious something so that they go fit to reduce criminal activities then with the shelter for inside our roads, for inside the country. Some Nigerians now we are with our to repressing goodness and nanny. They talk say make them they always check drivers now for a road to always so that they go fit no criminals them. They still can tell security people now say make them they very agile for their work and say make them no con the open eye for innocent country people as then they do their work. Intelligence does a lot and achieves a lot when it comes to combating crimes, especially all the crimes we are witnessing now. They should be more proactive. Policemen should be dispatched to all the, uh, the, the flashpoints where we have these uh, cases of kidnappings, arm robbery, and banditry. But most especially, intelligence gathering is key because that is what will give them the uh, awareness of how and why these criminals really operate. When you are traveling, you must not be, uh, you must not be the type that looks for all those vehicles that are usually regularly called uh, sole. Or one chance. Well, I think that if they can mount more roadblocks and um, really do the check-in, I don't think just mounting roadblocks is most times or sometimes when people pass, they don't really check. So if they can check, have, have people check people, have people come out and probably ask them some questions, that would help. And the uh, Christmas season is approaching like this. A lot of people tend to get involved in criminal activities and so many people fall victim. So my candid advice is for Nigerian uh, populace, the citizen, to cooperate with the police, to see the police as those who are working to keep the society safe. And that one will come out enter the next story. 
The Nigerian Film Corporation, Nayan, say they don't train over 130 youth for inside the six geopolitical zones within our country. The corporation, Nayan, say this one, Nana, for them to make sure say Nigeria no go carry last as the world's largest film producer. The managing director and chief executive officer of NFC, where they call Chidi Amadwekwe, now he earned this one on Thursday for Inside the Talent Cinematography Training Workshop, where he said they just start for Inside Abuja. He said this one now, now the one used to train and engage the youth through empowerment program them. He called the ginger, the people where BC go for this program. He make them use all this thing now where BC they don't learn to contribute on top of the economy of the country. What we are gathered here today <clears throat> is to domesticate enhancement of quality by guarding our youth here and training them the same way we want to do so all over Nigeria in the coming weeks. It's by such um, enablement that you are able to imbibe reasonable level of training capacity building that will produce good quality. Once it becomes a habit that um, the act of filmmaking becomes a habit in terms of quality. We are bound to break the glass ceiling that has been holding us down in terms of quality. And then we will not just be high in production in number, but also high in production in terms of quality. That's why we are gathered here today. It's part of processes of catching them young. It's part of the processes of creating awareness in the industry. It's part of stimulating the appetite of the young Nigerian filmmakers that they exhibit that tendency and then you kind of uh, catch it and train them and make them have the best. And still on top of the matter, the people where BC follow for this program, can they hail NFC now for the training where BC they don't get. They can promise they will use everything where they don't learn to better their lives. This workshop, I expect that with the little knowledge I have, it will be advanced. I, I expect that I'll be trained extensively on the film um, industry about cinematography, its different aspects that the camera operations and light. It has been shot before and actually felt good that at least I wrote something and people appreciate it. So, um, oh, like, I feel motivated to um, represent reality through my script. My people will really come back with business and sports, make you not go anywhere. <music>for inside business the Nigeria Custom Service now for inside the Niger and Kogi Area Command don't seize imported rice, moto and okrika cloth where BC reached 40 million naira for inside different parts of the state. The command talk talk person will be Lam Lamba Benjamin. Now he earned this one for inside one talk paper on Thursday. As he earned 1,481 bags of foreign rice where reach 25 million naira. Now in the seas for different parts of the state. According by Benjamin, he earned five second hand moto then where Reach 14 million naira. Now they still seize under the command new anti smuggling strategies where we say they yield them better results. In second year, say nine bales of Okrika cloth now we reach over 720 million naira. Now they still seize. As it be so in say the command they do everything where we say they fit to do now to make sure say they come out anything where resemble smuggling activities for the area where them they cover. When they come back with sports story, Make you still do where you did. <music> and for inside sports, Super Eagles coach Gennot Raw don't they hail the performance of the Super Eagles now as they win Benin Republic 2 1 on Wednesday for the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifying games. Steven Sessegnon, now he scored the only goal for Benin Republic before Victor Osimen and Samuel Kalu can score for Super Eagles. Ogaro happy with the performance of the Eagles, as seem still they happy for the way where BC they welcome them for inside Uyo for a quiet bomb state. Nigeria now go travel go Lesotho to play with the Crocodiles of Lesotho for their second match for the qualifiers on Sunday. Now all the Tori them be this as it take happen, but before we go, make we still look all our top Tori them again for this evening. <music> Cut down disqualify APC from Bayelsa governorship election. And the Senate now wants that the bill where BC the one bring out the Southwest Development Commission. 
House of Rep don't approve the operation positive identi identification with Nigerian Army One do. And Nigerian Custom Service don't see smuggled goods will reach over 40 million naira. My people now all the to read them with this and make you no forget now. As it they happen, as it take happen, now you they watch on top of Zobia Max TV. My name now Adati Pompe. On a good evening.